The best place to start would be to talk about prayer. And uh, in, in, circum in circumfession, you say that you're a man of prayers and tears and that you pray all the time. And in the remark that you make to, uh, that you direct to Jeffrey Bennington, you, you say, I wonder if I ought to tell them that I pray and describe how that could happen according to what idiom and what rate, on one's knees or standing up, in front of whom or what books. For if you knew, G, my experience of prayers, you would know everything. Now, what, what, what do you mean by that? If, uh, <laughs> if, who, who, who are, to whom are you praying? And how would your prayers be answered if you, if you, if as you say elsewhere in that text, you rightly pass for an atheist? Who, who, who do you expect to answer the prayers? In the sense that you quote, uh, the signatory of this text says, "J, if you knew my experience of prayers, you would know everything." So I understand you want to know everything. <laughs> Uh, first, before, before I, I start uh, uh, trying to answer Jack's question, I would like to begin with, with a prayer, in fact. Uh, mercy. I wanted to thank you, to all of you, for this uh, extraordinary hospitality. To thank Yvonne, first of all. Uh, your, your hospitality here is uh, absolutely uh, Formidable, which means it's terrible for me. <laughs> uh, uh, because uh, on the one hand, uh, I, uh, as Ivan uh, 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 emphasized, I'm speaking here, I'm improvising here in a foreign language, uh, facing questions and problems in which everyone knows I'm not competent. And so I feel really, uh, I'm very anxious, and I'm, it's not a, a, a fiction, I'm very anxious. And I'll try to, um, to, to do my best. Uh, the first time, the first time uh, this invitation was extended to me was in Paris, where I met Yvonne. And at the time, it was a conference on, how would I call it, uh, on... Judaism or, or Jewishness or my relation to Judaïté, as you say in French, Jewishness in, in the plural, Jewishnesses, Jewishnesses, if I can translate the title of this conference. And I was already, already uh, anxious. Uh, it was in a, in, a, in a building belonging to the Jewish community in Paris. And I was, I was terrified because on the one hand, I knew that some of these people at least would try and denounce me for not being uh, Jewish enough or authentically Jewish. Others would try to convert me to Judaism. And so it was a very strange moment. When I, say, I said yes to Yvonne, I, I tried. I was not expecting uh, such, a, such an event. So. Uh, because I was not uh, presenting myself in Paris as a, an authentic Jew, nor as a non-Jew. I'm not an expert in Judaism. And here I'm not a Christian either, not a Muslim, not a Buddhist, I'm not a biblical scholar, I'm not a theologian, and I am, have to face the terrible questions that, which, which come from, first of all, very, very uh, generous friends who surround me, but who are uh, experts in these, in these fields. So please, please uh, forgive me, and I, I, that's my first prayer. Uh, <laughs> I beg your pardon for, for what I'll try to 
in a, in a very shy way to, to say uh, in front of you, in, in front of my friends. Now I'll try to, to answer uh, Jack's uh, uh, question. My first uh, answer would be, uh, uh, have, take the form of a question. To whom does one ask publicly, publicly, to say something about prayer, about the way he prays, before whom, and so on and so forth. If I were a priest, or a theologian, or a well-known believer, Jack wouldn't ask me such a question. If I were simply a non-believer, well-known as, as an atheist, or as someone who is totally foreign to prayer, he wouldn't ask me this, this question. So, why am I asked this question? <laughs> publicly, publicly. Uh, some, some years ago, I would, have, I would decline. I would say, no, I won't answer this question. And I'm wondering, my, I'm wondering why I'm ready to say something. <laughs> Before saying something in a very ingenious, very, very naive and disarmed fashion, I would like to raise a, a, another question. In the text um, that you know better, better than others, and even better than me, in the text that you quote, uh, you assume that I am the man who signed this text. The man who says, if I ought to tell them that I pray, and so on. But you know that the, the status of this text remains suspended. It's not, I'm not simply signing this text. This text as a structure, it's, it's not a confession, it's a sure confession. So it's a text which turns around a possible, impossible confession. I'm going to hear around circumcision, but around confession. So I'm not confessing. I'm not signing a confession. I'm not speaking in my own name, uh, on the one hand. And on the other hand, this text is uh, intertwined with quotes from St. Augustine. It's a very complex structure in which it's difficult even for me to decide who is uh, saying something about his prayer, his way of uh, uh, praying and so on and so forth. So, if I now answer your question, it would have nothing to do with the quote. Because, because the, the quote is that if we had time, we would devote a, a long seminar on the status of this text, which is not theological, not a confession, not a letter, not. Uh, 